Ronaldinho, the Brazilian superstar and Barca superstar from long ago. So, well, not that long ago. When did he retire? Hmm. Anyway, <coughs> drawing. Landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So standard sort of portrait of him, right? We're going to start with the eyes. Let's give this a go. Okay. Set the point of my page about here. We'll come up a little bit over to the right hand side and we start with this curved line. So we curve it up and over. Like so. And we're gonna add some eyelashes just sort of sticking off here. He doesn't have overly big eyelashes, but just a little bit on the edge. Right, and then his eyelid line Tear, for the tear duct just there. And then we come around the bottom of the eye. Up into there, right? And you can just see a line for his tear duct in there. So his iris circle comes down pretty much like touches the bottom eyelid back up around there. <coughs> Right, and then pupil, just in the middle here. For as middle as you can get it. Okay. Then he's got some eyelashes just on the bottom of his eye, so we've got like this, dots and dashes. A little, they're tiny little eyelash lines just on the bottom of his eye there. Top eyelid line, so it curves up and over, pretty big, and down there. And then this sort of has another inside line just there on the inside of his nose. And then he's got like some bags under his eyes. And then this curves around here. Right, so eyebrows, so not that big, but they're like a little bit hairy at the front. So we just add some hair and then the eyebrow starts to go like this way. Down there. And then I'll go across pretty square and down here. Okay, now other eye, so measure his eye, that fits in between both of his eyes, right? So his other tear duct starts there <clears throat> and you can fit an eye in between both of his eyes, right? So this measurement fits in there pretty easily actually in his case. Okay, and then we curve a line up and over again, like so. And we can add some eyelashes to it. Then it's tear duct here, real pointy. And then it comes across, down and curves underneath. Very small, sort of thin eyes. Right, and then the diagonal line there. Iris, just in here, so we'll go again. Just a circle. Curving around, and pupil. In the middle, I'll try and get the pupils the same size as best we can. Right, and then he's got an eyelid line 
coming around the top. Right, make that look like just a line going there. Inside the nose as well, he's got like a wide bridge of his nose. <clears throat> and then he's got bags under his eyes. And oh yeah, the bottom eyelid lines, bottom eyelash lines. Like so. Right, so then eyebrow again, hairy sort of section at the front here, just over like his tear duct, see? And then it starts to go sort of back this way. And then down. And then back towards the front. <clears throat> just like this is like his brow sort of area coming around here right so so his nose right so we can just see a line just for the bridge of his nose coming down here bumps around light sort of line going down there maybe something else on this side as well just something light coming down there Okay, then we can see nostrils, right? Fairly wide apart, so here and here, right? And then darken them up just to make them look like, well, nostrils. And then we join them together with this pointy sort of, he's got this sort of bump in between them. So then the skin for his nostrils comes out the side, around real wide. In there, same on this side. Just carve around into here. All right, and then like lines just on for the bridge of his nose, just sort of at the corners here. right so you see like the edge of his nose is like inside the eye here see that's real wide like it lines up with the inside of his eye usually like it's like with the tear duct but it's wider it's on the inside of the eye right so then his mouth so he obviously has had, you know, <clears throat> maybe a birth defect or something with his palate or his, or his, like his front teeth or something. So it's unusual now. So let's try and draw it. So we got his, like the inside line for his lip, right? Just comes across here. It's kind of bumpy. Down like so, right? And then the bottom lip, so it's open, right? His mouth is relatively open, so it comes down around. And then up here, right? So then in here we have teeth and gums and stuff, right? So we've got like a bit of a shadow in the side of his mouth here. And then gum lines. Gum here. So this is all like teeth. And then big teeth in the middle. It's, and you can really see his gums now. I think he got his teeth fixed like later on. Uh, 
right? And then like a sharp one sort of here. And then like another bit of a shadow just at this side of his mouth. Right, and then we can just see some teeth just here at the bottom. All right, so then his top lip, so it's like stretched out pretty far, right? So it goes across the top here, down in the middle, back up. And to there, and then his bottom lip, real big, comes down to there. And we can add like some lines just on his mouth there like that. That is hard to draw. <laughs> but that is what his mouth looks like. Okay. So don't bully him. Leave him alone. Must have been hard childhood. So his chin, pretty big chin down here. Right. Right. And then proportions of things eyebrows to nose, about the same as nose to chin. Right. So eyebrow to here, about bring it down close to the chin. Probably his mouth is open, so it's a bit further. Down a bit to there, right? So then the jaw. Up the side. Like so. And then this will go up around his head. Right up to close to his sort of bandana sort of thing. And he's got like a sideburn here. So this goes up. He's got some like hair sideburn here. Right. So he's got like these, these big smiling lips and sort of top lip line. shadow just underneath his lip here Too many lines I think on his face right now. Just trying to figure out the best way to do this. So maybe just some cheekbone sort of lines here. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so Let's keep going. So his bandana, right? So he's got a bandana that comes across his forehead. So it like comes in all the way across down the side. Comes down like here. Okay, and then his ears are sticking out down here. He's got like an earring on this ear. Make some ear lines just inside. Right, 
Okay, and then like lines just for the side of his forehead just here. Maybe like some lines coming across. Mm -hmm. Right, and then the rest of that bandana comes up around his head. You can see some hair sticking at the top, but we'll just go around the bandana first. Right, and then up the top, we can just see like bits of scraggly bits of hair sort of sticking out. Sometimes he has a beard and sometimes he is stubble. So I think we'll just, we'll, maybe we'll just leave it like. We'll just leave it like this. Clean shaven from Dino. Maybe a little bit of stubble just down here. Okay, I think that's the best I can do for his face. Difficult guy to draw. So, <clears throat> neck, right, he's got a pretty wide neck. Goes down this way from his jaw, like so. And then like neck muscles there, Adam's apple, like so. And he's got the Barcelona sort of collar on, right? So it comes out from behind his neck, down to there, like that. And he's got trapezius muscles going that way. And then the other side. I think I want to give him more stubble. It sort of looks more like him if I give him more stubble. I'll come back. I'll come back and do more stubble afterwards, I think. So, finish his jersey. He's got this just V-like collar. It's an older sort of Barcelona jersey. All right, and then shoulder comes down. So, so you're about head width for the shoulder, right? On a male, right? The three heads fit across the shoulders. One, two, three, okay. And then, <clears throat> so like we have red and blue stripes. So this, and then we have like a fold line here and then red. Blue stripes, that's red in there. And then we got the Nike tick on this side. I've kind of moved them, I'll move them up a bit. They're usually lower down, but you wouldn't see them. <clears throat> so move them up a bit. Right, and then just the top of the Barcelona crest, right? So we go. That right now, there's like an inside section 
for each of the colorful sections on the inside. It's like an English flag. It's like red. And there's stripes in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the crest. F C B. So I might just add like some another couple of just some light bits of stubble just coming off his um, chin here. <clears throat> Okay, and then maybe a bit more hair just like sticking out back here. Okay, but I think that'll have to do, guys. That is how to draw the great Ronaldinho. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.